The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. If you like helping animals and solving problems too, come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew. Maybe we'll get another iceberg soon. Well, not much chance of that, I'm afraid. The weather's getting warmer. I've kept the last bit of the iceberg to, to remember it by. But you can have it if you like. Can't exactly ski down that tiny bit of ice, Bradley. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, we can't be having all this. Come on, spring's in the air. Time to get this place shipshape and tidy. Perhaps we could all do some spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'd like that. Aye, and you lot could get everything sorted and counted and back to normal. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Come on, let's get counting. I've got five tins of tomato soup. Five. And three more makes eight. Five plus three equals eight. Oh, that's easy. I've got 25 tins of vegetable soup. 25? And three more makes 28. How many tins of fish soup have you got, Bradley? Um, I've got 55 in boxes. Oh, that's a lot. And three more tins. 55 plus three. Oh, oh, that's much harder to add up. I'm not sure it's really harder. Oh, yes it is. It's bigger numbers. Oh, and it's all going wrong. Well, is Bradley's calculation harder than Flo and Fizz's? Are big numbers harder to add than small numbers? Let's have a look at the numbers so far. Can you see a pattern? Well, they're all something plus three, aren't they? Five plus three equals eight. Twenty-five plus three equals yeah, twenty-eight. So, fifty-five plus three equals... Fifty-eight! You did it, Bradley! I worked out the pattern. Five plus three is eight. Twenty-five plus three is twenty-eight. And fifty-five plus three is fifty-eight. What about this one, then? Fifteen plus three. What does that make? Well, does this one fit the pattern? 15 plus 3 equals... Well, look, have a look at the other numbers. They all end in 8, don't they? Yep, there you go. So, 15 plus 3 equals... Yeah, 18. You see, another one fits the pattern. And once you've spotted the pattern, you can use the calculations with the small numbers to help you work out the big ones. Small ones help you with the big ones When there's a pattern to be seen if five and three make eight, then you can calculate that fifteen and three make eighteen. Twenty-five and three fit in the pattern. They add up to twenty-eight. And now you know the trick. You're ready to predict that fifty-five and three make fifty-eight. Yes, small sums help you with the big ones. 
There's no doubt that this is true. It's amazing how it happens, but once you've seen the pattern, those big ones are much easier to do. We've got more counting to do. I hope I don't get the big numbers again. You'll be all right, Bradley. I've got four rolling pins and three more. I've got 40 yo-yos and 30 more. And I've got 400 marbles and 300 more. Those are huge numbers. Well, Bradley's got the bigger calculation again. Can we spot a pattern to help him out, maybe? Well, Flo's got the easy calculation, isn't she? Four plus three. Can you do it? Yeah, it's seven, isn't it? So let's have a look at the other two calculations. 40 plus 30 and 400 plus 300. Remember, use the small calculation to help you with a big one. Right, we already know that 4 plus 3 is 7. So what about 40 plus 30? Any ideas? Yeah, it's 70, isn't it? So what about 400 plus 300? Yeah, of course, it's 700. So yet again, when it comes to calculations, small ones really do help you with the big ones. Small ones help you with the big ones. When there's a pattern to be seen, if you add four and three, then seven's what you see. And now you'll do the big ones easily. Forty and thirty fit the pattern. They add up to 70. And if you've ever wondered, what's 400 and 300? It's 700, as you all can see. Yes, small ones help you with the big ones. There's no doubt that this is true. It's amazing how it happens. But once you've seen the pattern, those big ones are much easier to do. Roll up, roll up, roll up. So, you think you're good at spotting patterns, eh? Well, let's find out when we test your skill. Here are some for you to try. OK, 6 plus 3 equals 9. 16 plus 3 equals 19. 26 plus 3 equals 29. So here's the question. What is 46 plus 3? It's 49! Well done if you got that one right. Next one coming up. 5 plus 4 also equals 9. 50 plus 40 equals 90. So here's the question. What's 500 and 400? It's 900! And here's one for you to try after the programme. What's five million and four million make? Can you handle the really big calculations? So, as you've just seen, when it comes to adding up, the small ones really do help you with the big ones. But when it comes to tidying up, well, those small ones aren't as helpful. Especially if one of them's baby bunting, trying one last bit of skiing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, no.